In this lesson, we're gonna talk about JavaScript comments. Sometimes we need to type something, for example, reminder or to do or something, or even to make our code readable, we need sometimes to add some comments to that, to that code to describe it or something like that. For example, if I just type a valid code like let x, okay, that's a valid code. So the compiler doesn't complain. What if I want to describe it? For example, I want to type something like this x is a variable. Look, the compiler complain because we have here a syntax error. I mean invalid JavaScript code. So if we want to type comments in JavaScript, you have to just add those two slashes. Look, as you see, the compiler doesn't complain anymore because this line of code is not executed. Let me give you another example. If we console.log something, for example, hello world, Look, this code is executed. If I add just like this, now it's not executed because it became a comment. Let me write a new comment. For example, to do one, oops, we have a problem here. How to create a multi-line comment like this comment. You, can, you have two options. You can add like this, add another two slashes here and continue writing. like this or you have a, a better approach you can just add a slash then asterisk and then asterisk and slash look here you can create a multi-line comment you can type here whatever you want like to do finish task one finish task two, and so on. Those were our comments in JavaScript. Let me recap it real quick. JavaScript comments can be used to explain JavaScript code and to make it more readable. JavaScript comments can also be used to prevent execution, like this line of code. If I just remove those, it got executed. If I add them, it's not executed. So I hope this lesson was easy to you. If you have any question, just leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in next lesson.